This video examines the First and Second Continental Congress and the Declaration of Independence. The First Continental Congress was a meeting of delegates from the colonies between September and October 1774 at Carpenter's Hall in Philadelphia. 56 delegates from 12 colonies convened to discuss how to respond to the Intolerable Acts, aka Coercive Acts. Only Georgia didn't attend because it still needed British protection from Indian raids. Congress agreed on the Declaration and Resolves, which contained a list of grievances, colonial objections to the Intolerable Acts, and a Colonial Bill of Rights. Delegates also called on each other to raise militias. Most notably, the delegates agreed on the Continental Association, which called for a complete ban on all trade with Britain, starting in late 1774. Even though Congress expressed its loyalty to the Crown and did not seek independence from Britain, King George III delivered a scathing speech in November denouncing the colonies. Delegates voted to meet again in May 1775 if King George did not address their concerns. The Second Continental Congress met at Independence Hall in Philadelphia from May 1775, less than a month after the Lexington and Concord battles, and served as the primary government until 1781. We created the Continental Army on June 14, 1775, with George Washington as its first commander. In July 1775, we presented, without any success, the Olive Branch Petition to King George III to defuse the rising bloodshed. Congress had little real power and could not collect taxes, instead relying on the meager contributions of the colonies. It authorized the issuance of paper currency in June 1775, though the currency became worthless as war debt exploded. Even a year after hostilities started, we were split on declaring independence, though four of us, with Thomas Jefferson as the lead writer, began drafting a formal declaration. Congress approved the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. Congress drafted the Articles of Confederation, the first U.S. Constitution, and was renamed the Confederation Congress from 1781 until 1789. The Declaration of Independence was drafted by Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, John Adams, and other delegates in the summer of 1776 at the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia. It was the result of a series of taxes and aggressive measures imposed by King George III in Parliament on the American colonies for many years. The document was adopted by the 56 delegates of the Continental Congress on July 4, 1776, with 12 of the 13 colonies voting in favor and New York abstaining because it did not receive permission from Albany. The actual signing of the document was on August 2nd. The Declaration is divided into three parts. The preamble asserts the colonists' right to self-government and their belief in natural rights, such as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The second part is a list of grievances to King George III as related to taxation without representation, suspension of colonial charters, quartering of soldiers, and interference with colonial trade. The third part officially declares the United States independent from Great Britain and contains signatures from representatives from each state.